I am Dr. Shah Rawat. I am a radiation oncologist working at Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and Research Center, New Delhi. I have been working here and associated with this institute for last 12 years. I am uh, treating head and neck cancers and brain tumors. And I did my post graduation from Savai Mansingh Medical College, Jaipur, uh, way back in 1994. And so I have got about more than 20 years of experience. At Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and Research Center, we have site-specific teams and I am looking after head and neck cancers and brain tumors. Head and neck cancers are a very uh, commonly seen malignancies in this part of country and mainly attributed to use of tobacco in form of khani, tobacco chewing, gutkas, smoking, cigarette BD, hookahs, etc. Uh, as the going says, bad habits can ruin even a good horoscope. So even if God has sent you with a very good horoscope, but if your habits are not good, you yourself are ruining your horoscope. So I have one message to convey to all of you that please maintain a good healthy lifestyle. Uh, lifestyle has a major role to play in causation of this kind of disease. A patient of head and neck cancer usually presents to our OPD with complaints of swelling in the neck or an ulcer in the oral cavity or throat. He comes with complaints of uh, ulcer, difficulty in swallowing, pain radiating to the ears, etc. So, when we see the patient on first, uh, first visit, we advise him certain tests like uh, fine needle aspiration cytology of the neck node or biopsy of the ulcer. We also advise him to undergo certain investigations like CT scan or MRI scan and complete staging workup of the body to see what are the areas where the disease have, might have spread. Once the investigations have been done, the stage of the disease is known, then the patient may be seen either by a surgeon or a radiation oncologist. Uh, complete staging will be done and then a joint decision is taking, taken in the tumor board as to what kind of treatment modality is suitable for that particular patient. The treatment suggested for a patient is not based on whims and fancies of one particular doctor but it is based on the international guidelines. We have got set guidelines on the basis of which we will take a decision for you what treatment you require, whether you require surgery or you require radiotherapy or concomitant chemo radiotherapy. So once the treatment decision has been taken and if the patient is advised radiotherapy, then we explain to the patient what is radiotherapy how the planning is done. Usually the treatment of head and neck cancers with radio radiotherapy lasts for about six weeks. Patient has to come daily for five days a week except Saturday and Sunday for about one to two hours every day. Patient comes, get, gets treated and goes back home. And in case patient is also receiving concomitant chemotherapy, then the patient requires uh, one full day on any one particular day of the week. During this treatment, patient experiences a few side effects in form of uh, mucositis, uh, what we call chale, mu ke andar chale hona. Because of these mucositis and chale, patient experiences a little bit of difficulty during swallowing, heaviness of the voice, altered taste sensation, and dryness in the mouth. All these changes are temporary, and after completion of treatment, say in about one to three months, all these changes again minimize and come back to their original level. Once the patient's treatment is over, after about three months, we do tests to evaluate the response of the treatment. Once the treatment is over and uh, we have evaluated and uh, we have declared complete remission of the disease, after that follow-up is of utmost importance. For first two years, we need the patient to be followed up every three months. Why we require the follow-up? To see any side effects associated with treatment and uh, guide appropriately. During the first two years, the chances of disease coming back are maximum. So, we also want to follow up so as to catch disease recurrence in a very early stage. Once two years are over, then from second year onwards to fifth year, we ask the patient to come to follow up come for follow-up every six months. And after five years, patient may come for follow-up either yearly or not at all. Radiotherapy is a treatment 
which treats you without any surgery. That means you don't have to undergo any mutilating surgery. It is not associated with any disfigurement of your face, which is the most important part of your presentation to the world.